guys, I wanted to do a video on these two books that I found on eBay recently. I was on eBay not looking for this topic at all, but it kind of came up in, I was looking through a specific seller's um, items and I happened across these and I thought, oh, that looks interesting. And so um, I decided to order them and so I could see what they were. Um, and I, I think we might use them, um, but I, they were really cheap, like $5 each with free shipping. So, um, they are art textbooks, which I didn't even know they made art textbooks. Um, and when I bought them, they said it was grades two and grades three. However, I'm pretty sure this one is actually grade four, which is fine. Um, but I wanted to share them because I know that sometimes art is an area where sometimes as homeschoolers we struggle and um, there's a lot of great options out there however um, I kind of liked the idea of this guiding me so I just thought I'd do a little bit of a flip through and show you some of the things in this book so um, people know what's out there and if it's something that looks like it might be a good fit for your homeschool you might be able to find um, the grade you want on eBay I think we're gonna get grade one I'm actually having trouble finding grade three um, since, like I said, I believe this one is actually grade four. I did see some grade five as well um, on eBay. But anyway, I thought I would show you kind of what's in here. What I like about this is I could still kind of do a um, unit study approach to some of these artists if I wanted to. Um, but I just, I kind of liked the layout of these books. So as I said, this one says it's grade two. And you can kind of see a little bit of what it covers. I don't think that a textbook is necessary to do art in homeschool, but I'm one of those people that likes to know that um, in addition to being able to do things that they wouldn't be able to do in public school, I also want to know that my kids are still learning some of the same things they would learn if they were in public school. I don't want them to miss out on anything because I forgot it or... Um, wasn't sure how much of it to teach. So I kind of like something like this that guides me. Um, so they talk about keeping a sketchbook, which I love. Visiting a museum. And how to use your textbook. Then it goes right into the elements of art. Principles of design. And then you start the first chapter. These are the vocabulary words that they're going to talk about in the first chapter. There's a little poem. And then you just get into it. I love the amount of um, different pieces of art that we'll be exposed to if we use this book. And I just like how it fits multiple pieces of artwork into, you know, I assume in this chapter we're talking about um, these out, you know, line, line as a, an element of art. Here we go into line showing movement, another work of art, and then there's always like a little artist workshop page. So the plan, what you're going to create, and then you can reflect on it. And then it takes it and shows you art in your world. And then here we're into the next lesson. So again, multiple pieces of artwork. There's the artist workshop. So some of the lessons look longer than others. I don't know, but I just like it as maybe something to guide us in our art study, getting some art appreciation along with um, learning the different elements of art and um, all of that. So I will kind of do a quick flip through of some of the rest of this and then I'll show you a little bit of the other book as well. It looks like it's all section on techniques in the back. Let's see. Art safety. Oh yeah, art techniques. So it talks about different techniques and different media it looks like that you can use and how to do it. So I kind of like that as well. And then let's see. It looks like here we go. So you can locate the birth place of different artists that they shared. That's kind of cool too. No, no. And let me just flip through the rest of those then. No. All right. So
so, sorry, my family's being a little bit loud in the background. They must just be really excited about this look. Well, I love to do art. I know. Making that means. So symbols. this would be, this would be grade two. And then as I said, I'm pretty sure this one is grade four. You can tell there's a big difference um, in the level of the text in this one versus the I one I just showed. I love you too. Versus the one I just showed you. I thought I was going to have a nice quiet um, time to show you these because I asked my kids to go play in their room. Sorry, we just like watching your videos. <laughs> Clearly we're having some listening problems. So here we go with keeping a sketchbook again, visiting a museum, how to look at the art, how to look at your textbook, talks about the elements and principles again, and then gets into lesson one main idea, artist workshop, and then on to the next lesson. So anyway, you may have all known about these. I didn't, and so I was really excited about it. Um, like I said, I'm going to order grade one as well, and I'll probably try to track down grade three just because now I kind of want to have a whole set. Th these books are not brand new. Um, they're probably, I think they're 10 to 15 years old, so you're not going to have contemporary artists in here necessarily. Um, well, this one has a nice little art history timeline. Let me get out of here. A gallery of the artists that they showed. And then it's got principles of design in the back, too. Techni techniques as well, just in a slightly different format since this is for an older age group, museums and art sites around the world, which is cool. There are little like um, chapter reviews and things. I don't know that we'll actually do these, but we might. I don't know. So anyway, I just wanted to share these with you in case they would be of interest for you in your home school and um, maybe you can find some on eBay or Thriftbook or even Amazon. I haven't checked yet on Amazon but at any rate I wanted to share those with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.